So today I'm going to interview Mirtas Oliveira. He is from Brazil and her native language is Portuguese, I believe. Is that right, Mirtas? That's right. Okay. She wrote a very interesting response to one of my videos about the BTS Army. And, um, and so I wanted to interview her to talk about BTS because I'm still bringing myself up to speed. I don't know enough about BTS yet. And I'm trying to learn very quickly because I think that what they are doing is really amazing and very important uh, for the youth of the world. And so I want to just understand the phenomenon as we go forward. And I'm trying to be as supportive as I can of BTS Army. Mirtis, uh, tell me about how you found out about uh, BTS and then what has been your experience up till now. Okay. I, uh, I was already into some Korean dramas. Mm -hmm like those TV uh, kind of uh, TV series mm -hmm. uh, and I I used to listen to the soundtracks of the, those dramas I see so I are, are, are to... you studying are you studying the Korean language I wish I had the discipline to do it faster mm -hmm. <laughs> very uh, yes I am but I'm not optimistic about the the the, the future. <laughs> okay, let let me uh, give you a suggestion. I'm going to uh, put it in the chat here, which is Pimsler. Pimsler. Um, okay. That's the name of it. Can you see that chat there? Yes. Okay. So Pimsler uh, does a terrific way of learning language. I I've had different difficulties in learning language all my all my life and uh, for example I studied in high school and college French and I can do nothing with French basically I can read it pretty well but um, but then I went to language school for Chinese but it took me a year to learn to speak and converse in Chinese but then on Pimsleur I studied uh, both Arabic and Spanish and I was able within three months to be able to carry on a, a conversation. Unfortunately, wow. I, I have nobody to speak with and so um, it was, it's hard to do it if you can't, don't practice it. But it yes. really, it was much better than my professional language school when I went when I went to our military professional language school for Chinese that was very difficult and Pimsleur was much easier I learned in in three months instead of 12 months so so and I'm sure that they do have Korean so you might want to look that up on the internet and if you want to yes. study Pimsleur or any other language okay so oh, so you were listening give it a try so you were oh. listening to Korean drama anyway, and you were following yes, the I was soundtrack. Watching, I was watching Korean dramas and, and listened to some soundtracks. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, some, uh, uh, some idols, that's how we call the K-pop artists, mm -hmm. uh, some of them are actors. And I saw a drama which had one, one member a member of one famous K-pop group. Mm -hmm. Then I, I liked I liked it. I knew some K-pop groups, but I didn't know BTS yet. Yes. And uh, uh, last year, I I think it was in May, when they they were to to be at the Billboard Music Awards, and I. Uh, I was changing channels and I saw that it was going on live. Mm -hmm. And I heard BTS will be in, uh, uh, later, BTS. And I thought, I'll, 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 I'll watch it to see what th is this fuss about. Because every time they, they said BTS people in the, on the crowd went crazy. 
uh, mm. um, crazier than the American pop stars that that everybody knows and loves. Yeah. And then, well, they are they are popular. They are loved. So let's see what they have. Yeah. And they perform they perform fake love. Mm. And I was impressed w with their performance. Mm -hmm. I thought they were. I like the music. I like the dance. Uh, it was better than mm -hmm. the uh, 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 my personal taste. I I like them best than all the groups that I knew. Mm -hmm. And right after the, uh, the the show ended, I looked up for the music video of mm -hmm. Fake Love. And when I saw that video, I saw that it was there was something deeper going on yes i was very it, it was i was in shock really mm -hmm. and then i saw that they released a, uh, uh, an extended version of the same video mm -hmm. some people call it the theorist version because we we uh, uh i think i told you that there is a storyline going on from the beginning mm -hmm. And the, the the extended version had had some details that the the first video didn't right. did not, and it would. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, you can correct. Me. Be patient with my. No, uh, no problem. Don't worry. <laughs> oh Don't worry. I, I mean, it, okay. it's you that is speaking in second <laughs> language, not me. So yeah. I'm, I'm always in awe. <laughs> in awe. Go ahead. Take your time. Okay. And I showed uh, showed it to a friend who wasn't uh, familiar with K-pop, mm -hmm. and she felt the same way. Uh, she who didn't know much about K-pop, she was impressed. Right. And that's when it began. Began, because then I uh, I searched for more, and then I heard that their music videos were connected. I didn't know how were they connected, why? I didn't know about a story, a fictional story they were telling. And after I heard about that, as I love reading, I love m movies, films, I don't know in American English, maybe mm -hmm. films, I got curious about it. Then I started to research about this is a story, and uh, there were a lot of interesting videos. Mm -hmm. Some people came up with the time travelers theory. That was, there was. Uh, we know now that it is true. Mm -hmm. There is a, uh, uh, a time traveler uh, aspect to their music and to their series of to the to the yes albums. They released a webtoon mm -hmm. with with the the whole time travelers thing. Right. But I I, I it feels like I think my charger is making noise. Don't worry. Uh, and uh, um. I felt that the time traveler's theory wasn't enough. I thought that there was something else going on. And then I saw um, an older music video call, called Boy in Love. Mm -hmm. And when I listened, when I saw that video, there was a scene where all the boys were uh, confessing their love to the girl. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, it could be some to give some effect. So, so everyone, every one of the seven boys would appear and would uh, sing uh, their parts. But I thought, what if it's only one boy confessing mm -hmm. his love for the girl? Yes. And and then I I forgot about that. Then I remembered uh, two Korean dramas that were related to mental health. Uh -huh. One was called Kill Me, Heal Me, mm -hmm. and the other one, It's Okay, That's Love. 
One is about, I don't know in English, uh, dissociative personality disorder. I don't know if it's called this way. Yeah, I don't and the know. Other, I, I don't know any of the names of disorders, so as you Fragmented know. personalities, something like that. Mm -hmm. People who have, who uh, develop right, a okay. disorder. Mul multiple personality disorder. Which yes. Is, yes, okay. Yes, we, yes, that's it. We had a famous movie about that many years ago called Sybil, in which the uh -huh. woman, and it was based on a true story, had 16 different personalities that she presented with. Wow. And, um, and Dr. Jung observed that even with his cousin. And um, when he was doing his PhD thesis, uh, his cousin, Heidi Preswick, uh, or... I think it's Heidi, but anyway, um, Helen, Helen Press work. Anyway, it was his cousin, and she was a medium, but when she went into her trance, she could uh, behave in a way that w wasn't normal for her regular life. And so it was, it was a kind of personality. I, I'm not sure it was a disorder. I'm not sure he called it a disorder per se, uh, because he does say that our complexes uh, take on personalities. So yes. uh, so our anima and animus take on a personality and our self has yes. a personality, and they're operating autonomously in our unconscious. So, um, you know, it's like having another person <laughs> deep, yeah. deep down inside you, you, you know, and... Um, so anyway, so go ahead. So, so you saw the two dramas and about yes. mental health and... The other drama was about the schizophrenia. Uh -huh. And then you had a, uh, a case of someone that interacted with another person that in the end wasn't a real person. Mm -hmm. it was Interesting. And then I thought maybe this story that BTS is telling is about something, I don't know, uh, similar to, the, to these, I'm not, mm -hmm. I may be completely mistaken and, but I think it's, uh, it's an, an interesting direction. I will stick to it. Right. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> well, I... And uh, when I, when I saw that they, they, when they started to sell books on the big hit shop, then I saw that I, I knew that they used them they used Damien to not only the wings era but to the school era mm -hmm. also. And then they started selling together with Damien The Art of Loving uh, by Eric Fromm mm -hmm. and Jung's Map of the Soul by Dr. Murray Stein. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know, I thought, no, we, there's something about mental health involved. Yeah, definitely. And I, yes, after I saw the, that those books were being sold by Big Hit, I, I looked for them to right. read them myself. Good for you. And are yes. they translated into Portuguese? Yes, I have the map of the soul here, uh, Portuguese version. But mm -hmm. the here, right? Yeah, and then you, uh -huh. but uh, the art of loving, I haven't found. I'm reading on my Kindle in English. I see. Okay. <laughs> um, so that that's. Uh, I mean, this is extremely interesting to me, of yes. course, because I just have been going along through my life. And, you know, I've had many periods when I was quite down or depressed over certain things. Um, and, um, for example, right before I was 40, um, I ended up without a job. And I came back from Japan, and nobody wants to hire you when you're an older person. So it's better to start a job and keep working through and not stop because if you stop it may be hard to get back on the ladder and so i had a two-year period when i didn't have any work 
and I, I got very depressed by that when, um, when I was 40 years old. Um, I was extremely depressed. I remember on my 40th birthday being very depressed. And yet, you know, so things did change. And so I did take a job teaching at the University of Maryland graduate school. And uh, I taught finance, believe it or not. <laughs> and, um, and then that led to uh, meeting one of my students who was a neurosurgeon who um, wanted to do this business that I got involved in in, uh, in 1990 or originally and uh, I built that business up over many many years um, and I was involved in it until 2005 so um, it, it was a, a great run I got to travel around the world 75 times believe it or not and uh, I got to India 44 times and to wow. uh, and to uh, Saudi Arabia 23 times yeah, wow. dur during that time and so it was very uh, exciting time of my life and um, but then um, I got bought out of my company after it had gone public I got bought out and then I invested all my money in one thing that involved Lehman Brothers, uh, one of the investment banks in New York, and they promptly went bankrupt after 187 years and took, oh took all my money with, a, with them <laughs> oh my God. into bankruptcy. So I had to start over again. And, uh, and, and this has happened to me a few times that I've had to start over again. And so in this, in the course of that, those experiences, uh, I started to read Dr. Young and I started to find that it was, um, it was very helpful, soothing for me and helped with ba balancing my mental health, uh, to read his work. And, um, and so I never have had, um, therapy per se, mental health therapy, uh, but I have been reading the work for 32 years and it's, it's always helped me keep my mental balance. So uh, that's, that's why I'm very committed to it now. And I, since I knew that it helped me, I decided in 2010 to start a website called archetypeinaction.com. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll put I'll put that name on um, on the chat. So I started that website, and um, I did that. I've done that ever since, since 2010, and it has about 3,500 articles on it now. But I wasn't oh. getting I wasn't getting any interaction. So it was just me. It was one way stuff, right? And nobody was talking to me about it and so it was sort of lonely and um, then I heard about meetup and so and my wife was after me to get out of the house and go meet some people and, and so, I, so I said okay I'll start this meetup and see what happens and that was in uh, June of 2016 three years ago and last night was our 122nd meeting <laughs> in, oh, three, that's in three years, and uh, all of those meetings are online on the on the YouTube channel. So you can see from the beginning how we progressed and how we learned about Dr. Young's work uh, over that time, yeah. including last night. If you look at last night, now now you see my local group and and uh, we're we're very friendly with one another and so we had a lot of fun last night you can see that <laughs> clearly uh, okay great. so but i wanted to get back to your experience with bts so um so you realized that they were on into the mental health and you had talked about uh one of I the suspected maybe yeah. the story was about that and that would be awesome because mental health is a taboo yes. subject in, in South Korea. Right. And, and because of those the, those two dramas that I mentioned, 
they started to give him more to give more attention and it is brilliant that bts is is uh going to it's going it's bringing their up now i blanked <laughs> yeah don't worry <laughs> don't worry uh, so, but I think you were trying to say maybe that they they decided to focus even more and more on mental health, maybe, and maybe, yeah, and even um, you know even in you know around the world, mental health is a taboo topic, and yes. so you know, and parents don't really know what's going on in their kids' minds. Yes. And, um, and you know, that, that's why we need somebody to teach about psychology, because I, I know from my own experiences that, you know, it would have been very helpful to know the things I know about psychology now. It would have been helpful to know about them when I was 20, <laughs> you know, or even younger. And so, um, and but I know that in the United States, and maybe you can confirm if this is true in Brazil, um, we could never get it into the schools, no way, because the uh, religious people would all argue about what should be taught and what shouldn't, and, um, and the people that teach psychology in university basically followed Freud, which, which ultimately became um, a very rational approach uh, to mental health, which involves, oh, okay, you have this symptom, I'm going to give you this pill for it. And so that's a very rational approach. Um, and so Dr. Jung's approach was repressed uh, by the psychological community. And then his mm -hmm. messages on religion um, were uh, repressed by theologians. And our re theologians didn't want to hear it. And uh, I can explain why that is if you're interested. But in any case, it's been held back. And so that's why I'm so excited about BTS, because now that I know what they're doing, uh, I re recognize that this is the way to teach young people around yes. the world because it's getting them excited about something and then letting them teach one another and yes. and uh, and that's the way it's going to be so that's why I've been trying to do a live stream every morning um, to just put more and more information out there and uh, this morning we had this demonstration of the shadow where where we had these hackers who were coming in and using a foul language and talking about things that they shouldn't be talking about on YouTube and which is against the YouTube uh, rules and um, and so my viewers saw all that and you know it was it's I'm very sorry. dumb of them to do it because when they did it uh, now I know who they are, so I could block them and I could I could file complaints against them all, which is what I did. And so, you know, there may be others that come out, I suppose, uh, because there's a lot of shadow in the world. Um, yes. But um, but I will continue to uh, block the shadow because we have to recognize evil in our society yes. and do something about it. We can't just say, oh, it'll be the other person that'll do something about it. We have to do something about it. So uh, that's what I'm trying to do. So anyway, so, so you uh, realize that the two, um, the, the two programs were on mental health, one about um, multiple personality disorder and the other about schizophrenia. And yes. uh, and then anything else that happened after that, from your point of view? Well, uh, uh, <laughs> don't don't about worry. I, I know it's hard. Uh, in terms yes. of BTS, yeah. In terms of BTS. Yes. 
I've I've read some books. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know exact, exactly what to focus now. Uh, yeah, that's wait right. Wait Yeah, that's okay. Um, let me see about... Um, so, uh, tell me now, um, how, in, in terms of what I'm doing, uh, where, I mean, okay, over the last 10 days I've focused on BTS since I discovered what's going on. Um, but before that, I have been doing uh, videos uh, regularly, almost daily, uh, for the last three years. So now there's 900, more than 900 videos on the channel. And uh, do you have any comment about my activity, or is that useful, or is it way too much, or what is it? Way too much? What? I think I, it's awesome. Do you? I, I, I saw, I, I, I haven't seen many of your videos yet, mm -hmm. but I saw the first one when you talked about RM and his speech at, uh, at United the United Nations. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That, that was the I one on individuals. I a lot of friends and I sent the video, I, I shared the videos to my friends who are interested mm -hmm. in BTS and they love to, they yeah, love to they, your observations and that they love to see that you like them and that uh, to, to know what you saw in them, in our room too. And I... The second video I saw was the live that I saw late. Mm -hmm. I work in the morning, so I, I think I won't be able to see your lives live. Uh, too bad. I'm sorry about that. Yes. Uh, but but you can uh, next Monday you can listen to my live stream uh, because okay. every Monday night I do one at eight o'clock p.m. So it's I guess That's nine o'clock for you, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, if you if you want to, you're certainly welcome. Wow. <laughs> uh, right now, I'm struggling with my technology because my uh, five-year-old iMac is now um, it's an old technology, and there's uh, there's 32-bit and 64-bit technology. So mine is the old 32-bit style, but now. Apple is not really supporting that anymore, and they've oh. gone to 64-bit. So I need to actually get an entirely new computer in order to keep up with the demand. But yesterday, well, the other day I ordered some more RAM for my computer. Hopefully mm -hmm. that will help. And uh, right after this I have to go out and, and get myself... Uh, some more batteries because, as I said, my tra trackpad was out of out of <laughs> power and it may run out. It, it, so far, so good. But anyway, um, so do you have any um, questions for me or any other things that you wanted to talk about? And if I you want, about I a lot of things before, but now I can't remember one. <laughs> okay, no worry. Uh, no worries, uh, we can do it again sometime. And uh, uh, so, so don't worry about it. But I, I think this has been very useful for uh, young people to see it and, and uh, see a, a, a grown up lady who is interested in BTS. I think, yes. I think many of the followers are, are much younger. Uh, obviously much younger than me. I mean, I, I've had a few armies who've uh, said, oh, I'm 50, I'm 65 or something, but yes. I haven't, haven't heard anybody older than me, except last night. I do have one member of my local group who's 77, and she was very oh, okay. excited. About it. She was very excited about it, interesting. Yes. And, um, I think that's thanks to the... the the message that they bring that goes beyond, uh, it's like, uh, I don't know if I'm exaggerating, but 
maybe it's like Shakespeare. Yes. That wrote to the public, uh, wrote to everyone. If yes. Mm -hmm. uh, people from his time watch the uh, Shakespearean play, they wouldn't have fun. Mm -hmm. The ones who were interested in go beyond the, the, the funny or the tragic, they, they would find they would find things that satisfy that, that those aspects. Then, and uh, Shakespeare doesn't matter the culture, doesn't matter the language, doesn't matter the time. Everyone yes. who he's in contact to to Shakespeare can connect to it. Absolutely. And I think that's <laughs> that's absolutely that, true. That's something similar happening to BTS. Yes, I think you know, so they, too. Eh? They, not 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 every K-pop group is allowed to to bring uh, uh, delicate uh, how no not delicate uh, sensible sensitive. I don't know if I'm choosing. Yeah, the sensitive, sensitive, sensitive issues. subjects to their music, and mm -hmm. BTS did it, and they communicated to the whole world. Yes, they went beyond what the, the, the they they went farther than the other groups. Right, uh, so that's mm -hmm. uh, that's very exciting, also to me. And actually, last night we were. Uh, talking about uh, Bob Dylan and the fact that he has won the Nobel Prize for Literature. And yes. the interesting thing is I was not a big Dylan fan back in my youth, um, but lots of people were. And uh, I became a fan later on, maybe 10 years ago or so. And then it was very surprising to hear the Nobel Committee um, select him for the Nobel Prize in Literature. And, yes. um, you know, I, uh, for example, one of my favorite winners of that award is uh, uh, Gabriel uh, Garcia Marquez, uh, yes. who wrote Love in the Time of Cholera. Do you know yes. that? Do you know that yes, story? I know. I haven't read it yet, but I will. Oh, it's a wonderful book. Yes. Um, it's so poetic, and and you, he can lose you in in his storytelling. It's just amazing because he he takes you uh, you you go from two hundred years ago to three hundred years in the future in the course of a single sentence, or at least in the course of a single paragraph, and you you don't even right. know it. You just go woo. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, but it, it's extremely poetic, and in in Spanish it must be uh, much much more poetic than it is in English. But even in English, it's quite poetic, and uh, so I I'm always impressed by people who win the Nobel Prize for Literature. And yeah. uh, last night we were talking about the possibility that uh, Kim Nan Jun or someone in that group or maybe the group as a whole might uh, win one of these prizes you never know it might be the nobel peace yes Prize. i i i said uh, i said something uh, about it to a friend some time ago mm -hmm. that uh they were talking about being nominated to grammy to to anything blah, 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 and i said i think they should be nominated to the nobel prize not grammy they, they, what they do, they do great music. They, they are telling a story. They already had a book with the first part of the story. And this right. is a very well, well written book. Mm -hmm. I would like to know who wrote it. Yeah, interesting I have no question. idea if it was Nam Jung, if it was uh, Bang Shi Yu. I have no idea who wrote it. Uh -huh. I just know that I loved it. Uh -huh. And uh, the, the, they have short films. Right. Very interesting short films, and and that's cat fur, cat fur all around. Okay, no worries. <laughs> my cat, my cat is, my cat is. I'm going to wake her up. Right. Hello. Hi. Oh, look Hi. at her. Hi. She's uh, she's like Jane a, Austen. She's a Siamese, or what is her type? She's a uh, 
Actually, she was rescued from the streets. Ah, I have yeah. no idea if she has a uh, uh, muffin breed. Mm -hmm. Well, she's pretty. She's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and her name is Jane Austen. Say, say again, what is her name? Jane Austen. Uh, Jane Austen. <laughs> Jane Austen. The, the, the English writer. Right. Yes. So yeah. and I and I they they had short films and they have uh, uh, the message they 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 trying to bring to the world is amazing. Yes. Yeah, so and I and I thought my but, but literature Nobel for literature or peace or or what? Yeah, I maybe, think that maybe in the early going here in the next uh, five or ten years it might be the peace prize it might not be the uh it will might... hold the whole the, the the whole uh uh help me to choose the word here hold, hold the uh, cosmos together i mean they're yes the, everything if... they you know the the, the the peace nobel would hold everything they yes. are bringing the, yeah, it's an interesting the great idea. Music, the the great lyrics, the uh, and it's nice that there is not. They do a lot of things. They do music. They do short films. They do. They write. I don't know who wrote, but I guess mm -hmm. they do literature. And there is not one thing that you see and say, well, they do good music, but this part is. So, so, no, they are excellent in everything. Yes. Yep, they're, that's, uh, how, that's incredible. How is it possible? Yeah, I don't know, but they, they're special young men. It's obviously yes, that yes. that's true. And, and it's uh, great to see that they are young because we have that feeling that this will go on for a long time. Yes, yes. They, I'll be interested to see it because when I, when I saw what they're doing, I knew that this is going to be as big or bigger than the yes. Beatles in my time. Yes. And, um, and as I see the reactions to what I'm doing uh, just in the last 10 days in terms of these videos, um, I say, wow, I mean, this is going to be amazing because, you know, I, I think yes. that they haven't really cracked through to the American market yet and they haven't really cracked through to the, the European market yet. Um, yes. and, I mean, even though they've been on the Billboard program and on the AMA program, you know, I think a lot of people would say, oh, okay, that's a Korean group, you know, and they wouldn't pay much. Yes wouldn't pay much attention yes. to it but all of a sudden um people are going to start talking about it. it's going to be amazing it really is yeah. going to be amazing i don't i i don't think the world even knows what's going to hit them <laughs> yes i have the same feeling yeah yes and and it's so good because we we have to have something to bounce us out of our attitudes that we've had the last few years and uh, yes you know in our country things are so split but i think that um uh i think that these guys like this can be a, a bridge between the two sides because everybody can love them and be interested yes. in them and also because they have a lot of women followers um and yes, young true. girls if the girls are interested in it, the boys have to be interested in it too. They don't have any choice. <laughs> <laughs> there are there are a lot of boys interested in in them. Oh yes, I know, uh, I know that. Some, uh, and it's funny. Uh, a close friend of mine knew BTS before me, uh -huh. liked BTS before me. Uh, he's a man. Yes. And and I. Uh, I feel that I overlooked what they, what he were, was trying to show me on mm -hmm. this area of K-pop and everything. Yeah, and so and now you funny. understand. Now you know what yes, he is. Yes, I, I know. Now yeah. I know. And when a friend don't doesn't understand why I love them so much, I just wait and oh, 
I'll give her time. I'll give him or her time. Yes. Maybe in the next future there will be, they will understand. I think in the next year, as people are talking more and more yeah. about this group, you're yes. going to see a lot of people wake up to it very quickly. And yes. uh, it will be extremely I, interesting. I don't uh, know if there, if there were ever something like that in the music industry. Or, I don't know, it's, it's, it's everything. It's music, it's, it's films, it's books, it's all together. Right, I mean it's... I don't it, remember anything like that. Yes, it's going to cause like a university university education. To yes, <laughs> yes, right? exactly. Yeah. Um, True. Yeah. So, uh, and it's going to be done by word of mouth. It's not going to be done in any classroom, or yes, in, in any lecture. I mean, I, you know, I'm I'm old. I'm seventy two now. So, uh, for people, you know. Some of these young people that have been watching my videos say, oh, he's old, he's grandpa. In fact, some of the hackers were saying that today. And, um, and I said, well, I'm not too old to recognize what's something yeah. that's good and important. And it's exactly down the same alley that I've been working on uh, for you know, the last decade at least. And so I didn't know what I was working for, okay? Actually, I didn't know, you know, why am I putting 900 videos on this channel? You know, so guess who told me? <laughs> <laughs> Except I point, I point to my head when I'm talking about God, but it's not my ego that is doing that. But my self is forcing me. This would be a Jungian concept that myself is making me do it, made me do it over the last decade. And, you know, n without really consciously understanding why. But now I see why. I see there's a purpose. And, you know, mm -hmm. if, if I was just starting out, you know, there are lots of people that are interested in Jungian psychology around. Some of them have done uh, some good work you know, people can look at their stuff in a, in a day and then forget it, but mine is a whole course. And so people can come into it at any level and start. And, you know, it doesn't matter whether I'm here or not. It's going to, it's going to attract attention and people are going to watch it. So um, I think that's, you know, that's a useful use of my time, even if it uh, isn't. Yes, it is. Even even if it isn't a, a great money maker, <laughs> you know, I, yes. I think yeah. people don't understand. They think that if you are, have a popular YouTube channel that you're making lots of money, but that's not true because for me, it's still under a hundred dollars a month, and I've been <laughs> work, I've been working on it for three years. So, um, you know, maybe if maybe if you're BTS, you could have some income from it but YouTube doesn't yes. pay a, a whole lot so you have to find other ways to get paid for your work yeah. but anyway um, well this is exciting Mertis. I'm I'm pleased that we had a chance to chat and I think I think it's very useful for other armies to understand what it is that is exciting you as a Brazilian and me as an older man, American man, um, yes. and it, it's going to definitely break down the the more um, you know some of the guys that are my age are very much into an attitude. You know, they're they've got an attitude and they're not changing from that. But this has the yes, potential. Some of my friends my age too. Right. But this has the potential to break everybody down. And, yes. you know, I, even that happened with me, with the Beatles, because, you know, when I grew up, I was a son of a military officer, a naval officer. And so we all had short hair. I had very short hair when I was young. 
And so when the Beatles came along and they had longer hair and, you know, Right now, these days, we look back at those old pictures of the Beatles and say, wow, that was conservative. <laughs> yeah, really conservative. Uh, but yeah. in those days, that was, that was out there. So when they came along, I have to admit, I wasn't too sure about them. I said, wow, that's not good to mm -hmm. change society like that. But, <clears throat> you know, within a year, um, I loved them too. Uh, I remember how you know, how I evolved at that time. And of course I still do. Yes. And they've done amazing work around the world. And obviously John Lennon did amazing work before he was killed. You know, the, these young men are, are definitely creating something that we all need to look at. Um, yes. So anything else? that you'd like to talk about it. This has been a long hour for you, so if you want to talk about anything else, I'll be happy to do it. But. Yes, I was thinking about, uh, I told you that uh, here in Brazil, things are a bit scary mm -hmm. because of our, I don't know if it's okay for me to talk about that because of sure, our yes. leader. Sure, because of your leader, sure. Yes. And uh, that's something interesting that I, I'm very new to uh, Jung's theories, and I'm, I, that's I started reading, reading this book. I think a month. A month. I, it's a short book, but I'm right. slowly. I'm very slow because I, I say that when I finish it, I, it, I would have. When I finish it. This will be already read four times mm -hmm. because I, I read it and, and then I read four times again to go on. And but, uh, it is true with Jung's work anyway. You, yes. you have to assume you're going to have to read it four times. Yes. Uh, even, I've read, my... even, I'm reading the, even I'm reading that book uh, for the third or fourth time <laughs> right now. Uh, because I wanted to read it, reread it. I had it on Audible, and so I've had it on my phone for a few years. But um, but I wanted to reread it because it's the basis for this album, and and so I've been doing that. And it's very useful to go back through it and and see things that you didn't see before. And and yeah, I nice. I definitely have gotten that. And and you have to read. Young with that idea in mind. This is he doesn't write novels. <laughs> uh, yes, that's true. Um, and I, uh, a friend of mine, said who is reading it uh, at the same time as me. She said it's like a constant, uh, a constant feeling of dumbness. The when I'm reading it, because she feels, oh my god, I'm so dumb. I don't understand anything. <laughs> well, then and she. And she's asking me for us to meet to to see if, uh, if she doesn't understand one thing, but I could have understand this thing, and then we can, can exchange. And uh, and I said, I don't think I will help a lot in this case <laughs> because I feel the same. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, about the the concept of shadow, about our leader here, it's like he talks to. People's shadows, absolutely, and people started to feel uh, pride, uh, proud of some horrible feelings and ideas mm -hmm. that they have. Something that they should be ashamed about. No, they are proud of it. They are gathering together and praising it. It's terrible right. and it's really scary. Yeah, and the the and same I'm, thing is happening in the U.S. with our president. Yes, and uh, we our president is, is is likes to when people refer to him like the Brazilian. Uh, yeah, I know the Brazilian fashion. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the person and whose name both is. Of us. Yeah, oh, yeah. I call him P forty five. I don't call call him by his name. Oh, uh, yes. here we call them. Uh, many names. <laughs> uh, <laughs> some I invented, some very well-known names. Well, 
Yeah. Well, we we're calling him by many names here too. I assure yeah. you. <laughs> and uh, you you probably saw the the banner that I have on my Twitter account and on my Facebook yeah. account. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm, I'll take that down when when we have a new president. Well, thank you very much for uh, joining me today. And you know, if if you do have any questions, and you know, these would be questions probably that many readers would have. Okay, if you want to write down a few questions yes. and then uh, we can do this again, you can ask me some questions and I can see if I can help you. Okay, awesome. because thank you. I, I actually approached a couple of Jungian analysts for, a therap for an analysis because uh, Dr. Jung said that every analyst should have an analyst, right? Uh, and uh -huh. so in Thanks. that spirit, I thought, well, okay, maybe I should have somebody that's uh, talking to me. And, you know, one of these persons I went to uh, said, well, um, I haven't read the Red Book. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't read the Red Book. You know what I'm talking about, right? Did you see me show the Red Book the other day? Uh, uh, that will be, I think, my next reading. Uh -huh. I hope to find a copy Do, of the Red Book. But you saw, uh, uh, the, you saw the folio edition that I showed? I, no, I, I didn't. Oh, before we hang up, you need to see this. Okay, so here's the Red Book. Um, as it was published, um, as it was yeah. published, and it weighs about, uh, I would say it weighs seven or eight pounds, and it's uh, about 15 inches wide this way, and about two feet tall. And, That's a beauty. Right, and, and there's another version of it that's uh, called the Reader's Edition that only has the words, but I, I give you a sense of uh, oh, no, no. the art, artistic stuff in it. Uh, and all this was done by Dr. Young as he was uh, coming along. Let me see if I can find some of the better images because uh, there's, there's many. Uh, Okay, so here's a here's a terrific one actually. Um, okay, so I, you see the words there; those are all in yes German calligraphy, and then yes. on the other side, I gotta get it in front of my camera. Um, yes, yes, I see. Is Stunning. This, and as you wow. see, there's a dragon there, and this is a mandala. Beautiful. And uh, I don't know what all else, but I, you get a sense of it. It's really a very special book, and you, you can't understand how special until you look at it. Oh. Um, but anyway, um, you can buy the, the Reader's Edition, which is $25. This in the U.S. is about $150 for this uh, folio version. But it's, uh, well, it's, can, pardon? I can donate an organ. <laughs> so when we convert to Brazilian real. Yeah. The, the Brazilian, uh, money. Yeah. How do we say? Probably I have to sell an organ. <laughs> 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 I, I thought I would be much more. Uh, nervous and uncomfortable, but um, that was really nice. Oh, really I'm, nice. I'm delighted. To I hear thank that. you for for inviting me to to for asking me to participate. Right. I hope to see your comments on the videos as we go forward. Yes. So, sure. Take take care of yourself. Thank you for spending you the time with. Thank you for spending the time with me today. I appreciate it Thank very you. much. Thank yeah, you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. You're, you're welcome. Bye-bye.